What is going on guys? Welcome back to Channel Critical Overlord. Here's talking about Jurassic Park in this video here again today. More specifically the upcoming 6th entry I believe. Jurassic World Dominion. The 3rd entry and what was originally I believe thought to be the conclusion for this franchise. But it's actually just going to be the conclusion of the Jurassic era as we know it. It's been teased by the marketing campaign with the with the latest poster and the latest trailer we got also one of the producers a few months ago frank marshall revealed in an interview with uh slash film that this would not be the end for the franchise he said that he thinks dominion is going to wrap up this trilogy but we're not resting on laurels we're going to sit down and we're going to see what the future is so he also continued on to to note that they have that wonderful series camp cramp cretaceous on netflix we obviously want to make quality good movies with great storytelling great writers and directors but we're definitely looking to do more in the jurassic world now i'll touch on what i think they might do if they expand beyond just six movies if i thought this was going to be the final chapter but it's not so also previously or recently in a new interview this month Colin Trevorrow, who, who, was the one, who was the director and co-writer, revealed in a new interview with Empire uh, some details about a entity that's returning that's been around since the original film, Biosyn, who we know is the competitor to Engine, trying to keep up with them in the cloning technology as it relates to dinosaurs. We know how Dennis Nedry factored in with the embryo espionage that was supposed to go down in the original film, which ultimately led to the park getting shut down and, you know, all that good stuff. So his comments about Biosyn's factoring into this into this latest movie, because they seem like they're going to be the main villain, apparently. So Biosyn got the contract to house the dinosaurs that have been captured around the world via various governments. And they claim it's a research facility where they can study the pharmaceutical values of the animals. But there's other stuff going on. So they seem to be dealing with maybe black market type of stuff with dinosaurs. Um, and I know that as it stands with this movie with biosyn being back in a more prominent role than ever before it seems my only fear is that what they'll do here is unite all of these characters because we know we have the the legacy characters of ian malcolm alan grant um and then we also have the newer characters with chris pratt's character and bryce dallas howard's character of owen and claire and having all six of them come together like that my gripe here is that with the biosyn focus are they going to then give us a lot of retcons where biosyn has been pulling the strings since day one and what i mean is biosyn is responsible somewhat for what went down in the 2015 film biosyn is responsible somewhat for what went down in fallen kingdom and now biosyn will be directly involved of course with what went down in dominion i mean to make matters worse would they take it as far back as to say that biosyn has been doing a lot going as far back as the lost world and just connecting all those movies like like this through biosyn and having biosyn's mastermind i guess narrative it far exceed what it should which would then create a lot of a lot of retcons it can make your narrative come off as you're trying to switch up a lot of what we had already had established to make your lackluster writing work and then they already have too many characters i know they're going to try to juggle we'll see if that even comes off well on screen the movie no doubt is going to be entertaining but going beyond this in a world where dinosaurs are completely just roaming the earth and it's going to be basically a test to see who comes out on top humans or dinosaurs my money is going to be on dinosaurs of course uh so i don't really know what they could do going forward they they could explore some details about biosyn in future future films maybe they take a planet of the apes approach and get get the uh planet of the apes director involved maybe they just i mean honestly I, I would rather you just decide to not make another jurassic park movie versus just constantly exploring these movies and this universe to the point where you're gonna have to keep undoing things that we already knew to be true and then shifting them to make your narrative work and you know the i think the the strongest aspect of this new trilogy compared to the one from the 90s that led into the early 2000s is the fact that there was a start and an end there were plans along the way 
with the original trilogy it felt very much so that they were going off of like a wait and see type of thing without having many plans in place prior to anything being a, a success or not they were just like oh well if that one was a success we're gonna make another one okay let's start writing and coming up with ideas they didn't have any ideas brainstorm but with jurassic world it seems like there was a clear start point and a clear end point not to say that the path along the way has been the most uh successful or anything like that has been the most compelling it's just that there was a plan here for this trilogy as opposed to the original jurassic park trilogy so if they just start doing random narratives for future films i mean maybe you lose a few people there it's probably going to come off more as a retread of the bad things we start to see with the second and third jurassic park movies now being explored once again unfortunately in a potential seventh eighth ninth who knows how many films if they're trying to produce as many films as the fast and furious franchise but a planet of the apes approach isn't out of the out of the realm of possibility and honestly that's probably what they would do maybe they go into more horror aspect where i'm sure this movie will have a lot of horror aspects in it where we have stalking scenes a lot of tension building scenes chase sequences uh and if you do anything beyond dominion do you bring back dr grant do you bring back ian malcolm assuming they make it out of this movie alive i don't think that they should just be here for one and done if you're just gonna keep exploring this universe sure you could explore other characters within the world and tell a lot of i guess like walking dead like narratives a quiet place type of thing so you know there's there's like a quiet place spinoff coming it feels like maybe we're leaning into apocalypse type of movies not complete apocalypse but that's how it could come across with the fact that humans are being forced to live amongst dinosaurs we're seeing civilization destroyed humanity as they as they once knew it is no longer the same they have to live with these dinosaurs i don't know if movies like that can necessarily work maybe if you tap more into the horror aspect they will but we'll see what happens with jurassic world to mean if it's a success what do you think can happen in the future with this franchise let me know all that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post location and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video